guys, it's Ariana. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are actually going to be testing out some more of the $1 makeup. So I am going to be doing a mini series on my channel. So I am going to be testing out the foundations today. Okay, so this is the brand AOA. So it is Perfect Studio AOA. So this is what the foundation looks like. The color that I grabbed was Fair because I am pretty light skinned. And then I have AOA's Wander Skin Color Correcting Primer in, this is the primer. And then I have, oh, this is the pink primer, I guess. And then I have a color corrector, which is the green one. And then I have the banana one. I do believe I have a purple one as well. It's not. So I'm gonna be doing a wear test today. So I will be checking back in every few hours to let you guys know how this foundation works and what the just is and so forth. But I also want to do a, like, a full face of makeup as well, but I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'm gonna do that in a separate video. So I'm gonna do my eyes and the rest of my makeup, I guess, all in this video. And this one's just going to be the foundation video. So the foundation video will go up first or second. I don't know yet. I'm gonna quickly go do my eye makeup with the $1 makeup and then I will come back and we can get into the foundation. Okay, so I am back now with my eye shadow done and it's time to do the foundation so ignore my eyeliner I know this side looks way better than this side and this side is going like up and this one's going like down so just ignore it it was not a, a good eyeliner day and I was trying out a $1 eyeliner so I digress um, so I don't actually think I'm gonna try out the color corrector primers today because I have to actually look up how they work and what each color does because I have no fucking idea so I am just gonna go in with the AOH Perfect BB Cream. So this is a BB cream, it's not a foundation. Um, but I definitely wanna try it out because I haven't used it before. So I think it's gonna be a pretty close color to me. I'm just putting it on my hand right now and seeing if it oxidizes. It may be a little bit dark for me, but you guys, yeah, yeah, you guys can't even really tell, but it is pretty close to my skin color. I just grabbed the color Fair, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I think it'll be fine. So I don't have a primer to try with this because I only have color correcting primers and I don't actually know what they do. So I am just going to prime it my face with, I'll prime my face with another primer that is a similar price. So this is the Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studios and it is a drugstore primer and very inexpensive. So I'm just gonna prime my face with this today. I've never tried this BB cream before, so I'm very excited because it should be my my color. It looks it looks about right. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand right here, and I'm gonna go in with my Morphe sponge. And just see how it looks. Yeah, I think it is exactly my color. Actually, it's fair as shit and has a yellow undertone. So. It's pretty much my exact shade, and I'm liking it. So as you guys know, with the CC cream, I usually mix it in with a higher coverage foundation because I go for about a medium coverage, and I don't have a higher coverage in this brand. The other foundation that I have is by the brand Amuse, so it's a different $1 foundation, so I don't want to mix the two because I do just want to see how this one performs on its own. So I'm not going to be mixing it in with a different foundation. So if you guys notice that the finish is a lot sheerer than I, you're used to seeing on this channel, that's because it's a BB cream and not a foundation. So I would say I'm used to using foundations that have a pump on them. I would say I used about two pumps to cover uh, my full face with the first coat. I don't think I'm gonna go in with the second coat because my skin actually isn't that bad right now. It's pretty clear and the first coverage of it looks, it looks nice. It still makes my skin look like it's natural. It doesn't look like it's too caked with product or anything. So I'm probably just gonna leave it at one, one go. So it didn't cover all of my blemishes, but it is a, a BB cream, so it's definitely not a full coverage. It's a very sheer coverage. So if you're looking for something for like, I know makeup, makeup, but you still wanted to wear a product, this would actually be a very good foundation. 
uh, depending on how the wear test goes. As you guys know, this is a wear test, so I'll be checking in throughout the day and letting you guys know what I think of it. So I'm going to quickly go in and do the rest of my makeup. So I'm going to do my bronzer and my the rest of my under eyes and stuff quickly and then I will come back and talk to you guys about the foundation. Okay, so now that I have the full face of makeup on, I have my eyes done and everything, this is where I'm going to start the wear test. So my first impressions of this foundation is it does, this BB cream does sink into all of my fine lines in my forehead and my smile lines and it does accentuate all of my pores really quickly. So that's not new to me. That is how most foundations and BB creams work with my skin. So that's not really anything that's mind-blowingly new. Um, as for the color, I think the color is pretty good. It matched my skin really well. It's just the shade Fair. So it matched my skin pretty well. I'm gonna set my face using the UHD Pro Setting Spray. So bear with me because it smells horrible and see how that holds up my makeup throughout the day. So it is right now, it is at three o'clock, so it's 2.59, so three o'clock, and my um, foundation is probably gonna be on for a few hours, so I will check back in with you guys in a couple hours and let you guys know what I think of the foundation and how it's holding up, and yeah, I will see you guys then. Okay, so we are at the first check-in time, so it is 6.04, PM at the moment, so it's been on for three hours. So I'm gonna zoom in up close so you guys can see what the foundation looks like on my skin and what it looks like now. And I am actually really impressed with this, um, I say foundation, but it's actually a BB cream. So I'm actually really impressed with this BB cream. I didn't really talk too much about the product um, before. So this is the AOH Studio Perfect BB Cream, Skin Perfecting Color Correcting uh, BB Cream. So it is just like a little bottle like this. You get 30 milliliters of product in this BB cream tube and it was only a dollar, so that's really, really great. So I'm going to zoom in and show you guys what the product looks like on my skin right now. I'm looking through the mirror and honestly my forehead lines aren't that bad. Um, the lines underneath my eyes usually are always shitty because it's just fine lines that I have under my eyes. No, it doesn't matter what kind of product I put on top of them, they're, they, they're there. It's not exactly like products crease underneath my eyes, it's just if you have fine lines, they're more exaggerated when you have pro when you have a cream product on them, so whatever. And my smile lines are, honestly don't look that terrible either. This looks like, it almost looks like no makeup makeup kind of. It's like it's a very light kind of coverage and it sits on my skin nicely. It is a little bit dark for my skin. This is the shade Fair and it does have a little bit too much of like an orangey undertone for me personally. I would, I have a yellow undertone to it but this is coming off as a little bit more tan than I am and like it's not a bad color for between my neck and my skin. Like my skin on my neck and my skin on my face. It's like not terrible, but it's just a little bit too tanned. So whatever. It's not the best match, but it it'll do. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in. But I had you guys zoomed in and I turned down the lights. So you guys can see my forehead lines, you can see the lines underneath my eyes, you can see my smile lines, they're all there. But the foundation itself on my skin doesn't actually look terrible. It looks pretty good especially for a dollar. I'm not mad at it at all. I think it is a really, really, really awesome product for a buck. <laughs> so I am going to continue on with the rest of my day doing whatever I'm gonna do. Probably gonna go downstairs and play a video game. I don't know. I'm gonna continue on with the rest of my day and I will check back in in another three hours. So, so at nine o'clock I'll check back in and that's when I'm probably going to be taking off this foundation and I'm going to be used, trying out a different product for a different video. It's just like a cleansing uh, product that I got that was only a buck. <laughs> so I'm going to say goodbye now and check back in with you guys at nine. Okay guys, so I am back for the last checkup of the night. So I said I was gonna come back at nine, but it's actually 7.39 right now and I wanna take off my makeup and move on to my next video that I want to do tonight. So I'm actually going to be taking off this foundation right now. Um, so my final thoughts on it, it has been, what, from three to seven, that is five hours and foundation on for four hours and 40 minutes. So it's time to take it off. I didn't wear it for too long today, but I definitely just want to move on to my next video. And I'm pretty bored right now. It's like 7.40 at night on a Saturday and I'm just don't want to sit here till 9 o'clock with this foundation on. So, my final thoughts on it, my forehead lines are still not 
terrible. Um, my smile lines aren't terrible. The lines underneath my eyes are the most noticeable right now because they are super, it is super exaggerated with this foundation, but that is pretty normal for having foundation on for about four or five hours for me in particular with my skin tone. So up close, this is what it looks like. It's still a really nice foundation. It still looks really nice. It's just underneath my eyes, my dark circles are starting to come to life a little bit more and you can see the creases, well not really creases, just the fine lines under my eyes a lot. It definitely sinks into those lines and it's definitely a lot noticeable. But as for my skin, my skin looks like skin and it doesn't look terrible. So this is a foundation that I would definitely recommend. For only a dollar, it is pretty hard to go wrong with a foundation like this. It's a BB cream, so again, it's not a high coverage foundation, so if you're looking for something that is medium to full coverage, definitely don't go with a BB cream because it's very light, light sheer coverage. But it is still really nice. Uh, I do think this is a really nice um, foundation in general, well, BB cream, whatever. I think the color match is pretty close to my natural skin tone. It, it's not 100% the best match, but it's pretty good. Um, I think it looks pretty good for 4 hours and 40 minutes, so I definitely will use this foundation again in the future, so I don't really have anything negative to say about it. But thank you guys so much for watching this wear test with me. I hope you guys did enjoy content like this. I hope you guys will tune in for more of my $1 makeup kind of stuff as I go forward using different types of $1 products. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys will give it a like and hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this. And I will see you guys at my next video. Bye!